Hey, welcome back guys to another Life After video. So today's update is now out. You might notice the game looks a little bit different in this update. To be honest, I don't really like how the way they changed those graphics in this game. But now, as you can see, if you go to display settings, you can change your graphic settings and change the way how your game looks like. The game is a bit too dark and I don't really like the colors, I don't really like the contrast either. I mean they did some lighting changes and now the sky is brighter, the lighting is a little bit different. There's just better shaders for the objects around it. But still, I'm not a fan of this graphical change so I hope they revert this change because the old graphics were better for me. What they've added in this update is a new skin, obviously, we get that every time. It's a little bit expensive but you can get the skin cheaper if you gift the skin to yourself. How's that done is go to mall, go to outfits, that's done by just creating a new alternative account, you know, and just gifting a skin to yourself. That's pretty easy, all you have to do is just create a new account, you know, top up, buy some feds, and then just click gift pack, and then you can gift the skin to yourself. So as you can see, this pack costs 2.3k feds nearly, but if you buy it from this section, it costs 3k feds. So you can save 700 feds. By just gifting the skin to yourself. I mean, if you want to do that, go ahead, but I, I'm not gonna buy this skin because I'm not really interested. You get some boxes out of that, which is food, but that's just normal food that everyone can actually make from, you know, mastering recipes. And there's, of course, you get some skill points, new dollars, R&D, nothing really much, but probably the biggest thing here is the skin. And these rewards aren't even that much. Another thing they added is chance up. So, we have a higher chance to get skins now if we roll formulas. Yeah, I think I'll roll a little bit in this video, but if I don't get anything, I guess I'll stop. I'm gonna roll maybe like 10 blueprints or something. We're gonna see. Let's just buy some blueprints from here. 50, I think that's enough. Let's just buy that. We have 1k blueprints. I can do 5 times fusion, but you know, I don't really think it's a great idea to do that. I guess I'll go for it though. Just whatever, let's try that. And we got, wow, we got a Rain Edition A2. Okay, what's next? We got A2 that I already own. Uh, and lastly, oh my god, we already own that. So we got two Rainy A2s. I don't know if it's worth modifying. I don't know if people buy those. It's just a Rainy, you know? It's not even a Snow or Collector's Edition. I can do another roll just last time. We got nothing, so yeah, that was a uh, 2k fed credits down the drain, boys. I guess maybe maybe I got really lucky, but I'm not really sure what's the chances to get those skins. Anyways, they added Scarlet Vetting. It appears that there's a stranger in Hope 101. We have to complete tasks, blah blah blah, something like that. There's a story, and we get rewards for that, so that's nice. There's these lanterns that we can claim. Let's claim one. Lucky Snap Up is back. I really hated this event and I'm never ever going to participate in this. Ooh, these walls though, man. They look pretty nice. I like them, but I'm not gonna participate anyways. Duo training. Of course, we can claim some rewards. We already completed. And there's the market. The most interesting thing is the garden. And about this thing is... I don't really know how it works. Because once you plant this in your garden, I think if you remove it, you will have to buy this all over again. But you can get this type of garden from market, and you can buy those auto feeders, auto miners, and auto sprinklers. They just basically auto feed your garden, or you know, auto mine, or something like that. But if you go to your formula machine, click on exchange center, there you will have fountain ore machine, livestock garden, and poultry garden. So if you plant those in your garden. Then you can like put in drill parts or something like that. Drill parts are those alloy drill bits, diamond drill bits, and then yeah, you will have a rock. It's same thing as using drill machines or just planting wheat or roses, but you're just doing it on you know a stylish, nice garden. So that's pretty fancy, and I will show you guys how it looks like. I'm probably not going to buy those because it's kind of expensive. Not gonna lie guys, the game looks pretty dark and I actually visited some areas in this game. It's way too dark, I really don't like this change. A lot of players are unhappy with this change, so I hope the developers do something about this. Anyways, here we are at Outrage Trade City, so I have a friend, Joy, which has the garden. Anyways, as you guys can see, I have this glow stick, it's looking pretty neat and pretty nice. I completed 62 floors in Death Hive. And it was kind of rough. If you want that glow stick, you have to complete 50 floors in Death High. Here's the garden. It's pretty damn loud. 
This sounds pretty stacked here, dude. I think this is the, uh, as you can see, cast iron drill bit is put it into this fountain. So right here, this is where the rock is. So this is like a drill machine, you know? But instead, it's a fountain. And as you can see, these little houses right over here, they are probably just, you know, auto-feeding these rocks or like cooling them down and so on and so on, just as the same as you have to cool down your drills. But these little houses do it for you. I don't know why, how that works. And here we have a 3x3 garden. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Just a sampling growing here that you can harvest later on. So if you select a rock, and actually this crop wasn't planted by you, so... These gardens look pretty nice. The thing is that you can just grow things on it and you have some decoration. It just gives more variety in your garden and that looks pretty amazing, I have to say. We have a little pond here. That's pretty neat. And here's the actual skin that has been released. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think about the skin? As I said, I myself, I don't really want to buy it because it's too expensive. I'm really happy with the skins I have currently. What is going on here? Is this a cow? So as you can see, this is like a poultry garden. So the same as we would have a pen here, but we can just put in a cow here. And this is a auto feeder. So, you know, the cow just eats from it which is pretty cool. You don't have to do it yourself, don't have to feed it yourself, don't have to pet it, don't have to fertilize. I think this thing does it all for you. Pretty cool, I like it. And there's a sheep here, of course, three by three garden here, and just a sheep growing here, man. Maybe, maybe I'll buy the garden because I kind of like how it looks and it just gives so much variety in the garden. It doesn't look as empty and it looks pretty cute. Oh, berries are growing here. That's a two by two garden. You can instantly notice that. Not sure what's growing here though, I think it's a 1x2, but I can water the berry bush right over here. You can of course put a, uh, you know, sprinkler here to do it for you. Oh, and the thing is with the garden, you don't get a formula to craft the gardens, so you would need to keep buying them from the market, which is here, for, you know, 50, you can see 1 grid natural, 2 grids, 4 grids, and 9 grids, and pretty much when it ends, you have to buy them all over again just to plant one, so it's kind of expensive, but yeah. If you have a lot of gold, if you have lots of stuff, you can of course buy them, make your garden look fancy. So, what else we got apart from garden and skins? They have added a new mechanic and rating. They have changed the VIP privileges, so it's way better than it was before. It still lasts for one month when you purchase it, but you will get backpack perks. As you can see, max capacity of resource pack and food pack is increased by two slots. Shipping privilege, you will get 20 more things to ship. So for example, blue and green items in all zones. Sign-in privilege, you will get new dollars, skill points, and two exclusive boxes for signing in daily. You get shopping privilege, which appears in your mall daily. Trade privilege, you get plus three training slots so you know when you list items that's pretty cool and your tax is decreased by five percent when selling items so yeah i like those changes for the vip it's definitely worth the five dollars i advise everyone to buy it if you want to spend at least some money not as much like a huge pay to win but just at least like ten dollars twenty dollars you know oh anyways i forgot to learn my a2 assault rifles yes let's do that let's actually see what happens if i use the lamp i think it just releases it and that's all that happens write your wishes wish item um well of course i'll give you guys the best select an item you wish for of course i want weapon parts homie that that's literally the most expensive part so yeah i wish all lovers can finally get married these nuts that's the magic key guys these freaking nuts but let's light it up okay we get rewards for it i think someone just claims it but i'm really not sure how it works let's go do a raid hopefully i can get not as such a active camp because if i get into a really active camp it's going to be very laggy for me i'm going to take my grenade launcher that i have let's see how much damage my gel does to this door okay i can one shot it actually no here we go we got in well, the biggest disadvantage of buying this fence is you can literally jump on it, which is really weird. Let's go into this guy's vault. Hopefully, it's nothing. Oh, now you need time to actually enter the vault. Okay, so they did nerf rating a little bit. Oh my god, that's so bright here. That's really bright. I do not like the colors. I do not like the colors. Break through this. Let's break through this. Let's see what he has on the bottom. Okay, that's his boxes. I could literally just go from there and 
end up here. Um, if I break a manor, one manor breached, you get one box for breaking one manor. Before the update, you would used to get 2k new dollars or 1.9k. You never get this box here. But now they, you know, made the raids a little bit more profitable. And before, it was already profitable, they already nerfed the boxes, but now they even added this box, so it makes it even more profitable. Of course, out of these boxes, you can get some loot. So anyways, let's break this thing. We broke some boxes already. We get some sulfur, some aluminum, a little bit of trash, but I really want to get goodies. I don't want to grab too much. But, ooh, duct tape and cypress leaves, hello there. So I'm gonna break the rest of the boxes. I don't wanna just leave it behind there. So let's break all of them. And of course, break those. And if you take a look, I actually broke hella boxes. We broke like, what, 50 boxes now. The gas is level three, so it's hella dangerous. Let's leave this. Okay, 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 leave vault. It actually takes so long to leave a vault now. So the ass would get me if I was there. We broke 50 boxes out of 10. That's more than enough. We broke too much. But the more boxes you break, the higher reward you get from capturing a door plate. I can't jump on this. That sucks. But here... This door plate is right over here, as you can see. Dude, what the heck? Stop teleporting me. What? What is going on here, dude? That's stupid. Here's this door plate, let's capture it. Lockers 50 out of 10 and supplies value 4.8k. So I click capture and I get a door plate. Let's see who's let's see who's that lucky person who got raided, huh? Who did get raided? Defend man or Ab Gray. Well, congrats, Ab Gray. You literally got raided and seems like he's offline right now. But yeah, this guy has juicy stuff. Just, I couldn't loot all of it in time because the gas spread way too fast. Anyways, we got his door plate. We can now leave and sell those door plates for like 2k, 1k, new dollars. Pretty profitable. I got new dollars as a reward because I raided one manor. And of course, I get this simulation attack chest. So let me open that real quick. We got 500 honorary. Well, I was expecting something bigger, but it's random to get. You can get either nanoplastic, R&D, or formula shards. So yeah, assaultable targets and their level. Okay, so that's what it is. But they basically give you manners to raid. What the heck, dude? That scared the hell out of me. Oh, this manner is being repaired. Oh, never mind. We can't raid this because manner is being repaired. I think all of them are being repaired. None of them can be raided because... As you can see, when I was raiding that house, it has shown the green icon on it. But these aren't marked for green, so I think they're being repaired. That's why the green icon isn't here on the map. Pretty sure I'm right, so yeah, if we cannot... Yeah, all of them are being repaired, so we can now leave, there's nothing else to do. Doesn't seem like an active camp, so that's what I'm actually aiming for. Well, there's actually a player here, let's just shoot him once. Hey, what's up guys? How? Oh, there's actually so many of you. What are you guys doing? Are you serious, dude? You're trying to kill me, man. Do, do, do you really want to try me? Do, do you really want to do that, dude? Like, do you really want to do that? I don't think so, man. Anyways, these people, I don't know them, but I think I know one guy here, this guy right over here. He was in my camp before. But yeah, I don't know what he's doing here. I don't even know what camp is this. Die! All of you. Freaking die. Don't you dare mess with me, okay? Get away from me. I'm leaving this, man. These people aren't friendly. Anyways, I'm not gonna do any more turbulent because it takes a little bit too long to raid those things. Just wanted to show you case you guys what's up there. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed my glow stick too. That's why I'm flexing on you. But yeah, let me know what you think about this update. Let me know your thoughts. Please leave some feedback in the comment section if you of course can because I love reading them. I try to answer most of them. Leave a like on this video if you of course enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great day guys and I'll see you next time. Peace out.